Welcome to my unboxing and first look on a very different sort of unboxing set of the Kisei RPM watch from Tokyo Flash Japan. So this is actually my second time having a look at one of their watches. Here is the shipping container that it arrived in. There's some like packing foam and stuff, but other than that, not much of interest here. They shipped me two watches, one of which I'm going to unbox now, and the other one has an embargo date that we're going to have to take a look at later. So I'm going to get the camera in to come in and have a close look at the unboxing experience. So the first thing you're going to notice about Tokyo Flash's website it is, is it is very sort of flashy and exciting. Their watch designs are very unique. So to, to, at first glance, it's very difficult to tell the time on a Tokyo Flash watch because they don't have traditional sort of hand, minute hand, hour hand, second hand kind of thing going on. They all have sort of cool LED displays. So it comes with a little manual, comes with a foamy, okay, just to protect the top of the watch. Then the watch itself, like I said, this is my, my second, ooh, there we go, I accidentally turned it on, but either way, that looks cool. This is my second watch that I've encountered from them, so I'm not that surprised this time at the overall solid feel. It's a stainless steel watch, so the, the pricing is sort of in line with what you might expect from a stainless steel watch. So we're talking watches that cost sort of in the hundreds or couple hundreds, as opposed to watches that cost, you know, thousands, like what you might find at a jewelry store where they're made of gold or silver or whatever else. In terms of included accessories, there's... Oh, I just dropped something. Hold on, I'll be back in a moment. Ah, there we go. So there's a couple of things. Number one is an included screwdriver. This is actually for opening up the charging port. So you're gonna to wanna to keep that handy, sort of next to your computer or wherever else you're using to charge it. It charges by USB. So you just plug in the USB port to something that provides five volt power, plug this into the watch and it charges. And then it does come with an extra plug just in case you do happen to lose this one. I would recommend keeping it plugged. It does have a little rubber seal on it. So it'll just help keep the watch protected in the event that, in the event that a little bit of moisture gets on it or whatever else the case may be. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off here. So this is actually the first design from Tokyo Flash Japan that has been inspired by one of their uh, fan created sort of concepts and then uh, brought to life by their team. So I think that's really, really cool that they, that they do that sort of thing. And right now I'm having a little bit of trouble with this plastic wrap, which is causing me no small amount of stress because I'm trying to unbox it and I'm not really having a lot of luck here. There we go. So it's just folded around the entire uh, wristband itself so that it doesn't get scratched in transit. You know what, I'm just gonna have to do this off camera. Sorry about that guys, I finally got it. So it's an extremely, extremely shiny finish under there, which is, uh, yeah, very, very shiny. Here, I hope you guys can get a good look at that. You got a, you got a good look at it? Okay. And then the last bit of protective plastic is here on the back of the watch where they've got their RPM, RPM branding. What's it say? Three something, what? What? Three atmospheres, water resistant. Okay, cool, 3.6 volt, rechargeable, USB rechargeable battery only. Cool stuff. Okay, so resizing. Resizing can be a bit of a bear with watches, but I did figure out how to do it last time they sent a watch over. This one, it looks like I'll have to remove about two links. Whenever you're resizing a watch, you wanna make sure that you remove um, equally from both sides so that you don't end up with the buckle sort of on sort of the side of your wrist or anything like that. The way to read the time on this watch is actually fairly straightforward once you get the hang of it. So it's logical if you think about it this way. The inner ring of LEDs, which is actually magnified by a lens that sits over top of them around the, the stainless steel centerpiece that has kind of a brushed finish. Can you see that okay? So the inner part, which would be the shorter hand, if you were to think of it in terms of watch hands, is the hours. So this one right here is set right now to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine hours. So it is nine, and then the outer ring of LEDs is minutes. So nine hours and 15 minutes, they're in increments of five, five, 10, 15. Then these guys right here that are flashing are another incremental, or any incremental minutes. So the fact that three of them are flashing means it is 9.18 at the time of reading this watch, which it isn't, but uh, you can't really expect a watch to be set to the correct time when it arrives, especially if you buy it from Japan and you don't live in Japan. So we're gonna do, uh, give me a couple minutes here, we're gonna resize it and then we'll get you guys some shots of it sort of on the, on the wrist here. 
Now the sizing process is pretty simple. You can see I've already removed one full link from one of the sides and uh, I'm in the midst of removing another link. All you got to do is I was able to fashion myself a tool out of a paper clip. So I just use my trusty snippers to cut a very thin piece of metal. And then what you do is you take that straight thin piece of metal, you line it up on the edge of a table and give it kind of a whack. Now there's arrows on the inside of the wristband that indicate which way the pins come out. See the, the arrows here? So the pins that are in the watch come out, they only go in one way. So they have kind of a ball at the end of one of the sides. So they just kind of slide in and slide out this way. So you give it a whack with something preferably smaller than this. Da, 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 da. Make sure it's lined up straight. Pull out the pin. Then you pull out your tool. There we go. And which I've now bent, but it's okay. I can always make myself another one. Then what you do is you take out these pieces that you no longer need. <clears throat> Line the watch back up with, uh, hopefully you put it in the right way. Something to bear in mind guys, very, very, very important is that you don't want to take out the very, the very last link in either on either side because it's a real bear to, to put those ones back together unless you're you know you definitely need all of them out so it's uh, always a good idea to do a quick sort of approximation of what you think the sizing is going to be like before you go ahead and put the links back in so I'm just going to clip it back together here and we'll be back in a moment so basically this is what the watch looks like you just press the button to read the time, as we showed you guys before. It only flashes for sort of a couple moments and then it will actually turn off in order to conserve power, which is great because you gotta charge it when it runs out of power. Now, I removed three links at the end and I should probably take one more out. It's still a little bit loose, but we, uh, we did sort of put it all back together and then we're trying to film. So make sure you keep the extra links as well as the pins that you removed in a safe place. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Kisei RPM from Tokyo Flash Japan. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.